So I just put this on as one would. It takes about half an hour just to get dressed. Yeah, just hold it onto the sides. A pressurized airtight suit, two layers of everything. All this just to go to work. Every day. <laughs> yeah. Biosafety level three. What they've got in here, they don't want to get out. TB, SARS, West Nile, and now Zika. We are trying to understand their molecular life cycle. Will they grow, what type of cell they infect? And this one's a little girl. The WHO expects mm -hmm. to see four million cases in the Americas alone by the end of the year. But how is it transmitted and can you prevent the damage? The main issue is we do not know that much about this virus. That's why Jung is trying to infect pregnant mice with Zika. But it's harder than it sounds. Only a handful of labs have been able to do it because, as luck would have it, mice, those cheap and plentiful test subjects, are naturally resistant. You were describing this virus to me as wimpy. Virus couldn't even go into that the mouse that the infection and cause any disease. So that's why we call that the wimpy virus. Wimpy in a petri dish, but in a human fetus, it's yeah, devastating. Yeah. We were sort of blown away about how bad it was. Brazilian-born infectious disease specialist Karen Nielsen studied a group of pregnant Brazilian women with Zika and assessed their newborn babies. What you see here is very little brain tissue. It's pretty dramatic. It's very dramatic, yeah. About a third of the babies had small heads, brain damage, or were stillborn. Researchers like Nielsen and Jung are racing to find answers before the Zika outbreaks expected this summer across the U.S., including here in Southern California. Even one patient can be potentially lead to that uh, uh, big pandemic disease. That's why American scientists say they need more funding for Zika research now. But the U.S. Congress hasn't been able to agree on how much. We had the Ebola epidemic last year, and it was sort of a similar situation in which a lot of people died and the response was delayed. But in the end, Ebola never really threatened North America. Zika, they believe, is here to stay. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Los Angeles.